Hi guys, my name is Anna Maria and you're very welcome to my channel. In this video I want to talk about English language, about improving pronunciation and how I managed to do it because I got a lot of you texting me on Instagram and telling me that I'm very easy to be understood and that you asked me for some advice, for some tips and for some tricks of how to speak English better. First of all, keep in mind the fact that I do live in an English-speaking country and to survive I have to speak English. When going to a shop, when going to the doctor, when going to work, I have to speak English because this is the only way I can communicate with people. So I am living in these conditions where I have no choice but to learn this language. Okay, so I totally understand that you might be in different conditions, surrounded by different people who do not speak English, but still it's very important to learn English because this can open a lot of doors for you, this is an, in an international language, this is how you can survive everywhere in the world by speaking English, so this is already a huge motivation to learn this language. And the first thing that I do to improve my English is to never translate English words into my native language. I always look for words, look for phrases, and I always search for the meaning of those words and those phrases, and I try to learn and understand the meaning, first of all. There can be words that don't have a proper explanation, so then I will translate them into Russian or Romanian, but it happens very rarely, okay? So it happens maybe once a month and that's it. But generally, I'm always looking for the explanation of a word, okay? So let's say if I'm looking for the word weather forecast, then I will just say weather forecast meaning and Google is going to show me the meaning of this and I will learn and understand and everything in English, okay? Because it's gonna be very hard for the brain to jump from English to your native language, you know, and that's gonna be such a confusion and then it's gonna make everything so much more difficult. So keep everything in English, okay? Point number two is that Google has a feature called learn to pronounce and I have discovered this feature not so long ago, unfortunately. So what Google can offer you is, for example, you try to search for a word and it offers you to learn how to pronounce it. So you will see there are some lips and they will show you how to properly open your mouth, close your mouth to be able to pronounce those words correctly. And then you can pronounce the word yourself and Google is gonna tell you if it was correct or if it was not correct and it's gonna tell you where you can improve. I think this is an amazing feature. It can be a bit strange, but I'm using it myself, especially when there are some difficult words to pronounce and it helps a lot and I think we have to use all these technologies to improve ourselves and to learn the languages much quicker and much more efficient. Also, let me tell you a very short and very lovely story that happened to me. So one of you guys from France messaged me on Instagram and told me that in your classroom at your English lessons, you're watching my videos and you're learning English from me. And I was like so surprised and it was, it was such a nice message. And I honestly, I, am, I was melting when I was reading that message. I think that message was sent to me by Pierre, if I do pronounce your name correctly. And he's from France and he said that uh, his whole class is learning English from me and I was so surprised so thanks a lot guys and if you have some more stories like this don't forget to message me on Instagram because they always make me feel so so much better. The next point is reading. It's very important to do a lot of reading and you probably have noticed that after you read a book you have more words. And I used to do universal literature in school, so I used to read a book per week. And at that time, I've noticed that I have so many words to describe a situation. So try to read in English. And I personally read psychology books, I do read books from where I can learn something about about what's interesting to me. So make sure you do a lot of reading and maybe even give yourself 20 minutes every single day or maybe 20 minutes every second day to read in English, especially now when everyone is in like lockdown and you can do many things. I'm sure that you can find 20 minutes every second day to do a bit of reading. Also in terms of reading, please make sure you don't translate every single word, okay? Just translate a word if you do not understand the meaning of a sentence, okay? But if if you understand somehow the meaning of a sentence, just keep going because you'll get so bored of that book. So only translate if you really, really don't understand what that sentence is about. The next point is don't be a perfectionist. Perfectionism is not good and I know people who are perfectionists and we're always trying to make everything to be ideal, but 
it can never be ideal so just keep going like even when listening to my videos you can see that very often I make a lot of mistakes so when I am about to edit my videos I always can notice a lot of mistakes but I just keep posting them because I'm not a perfectionist I'm happy as I am and I just keep improving myself all the time and I think that if I was to be a perfectionist I would have missed so many opportunities in my life honestly so thank God that I'm not a perfectionist and don't be a perfectionist because I really don't like this education system that we have that we make a mistake and we're being punished for making that mistake it's not correct we have to make mistakes and we have to get the proper explanation of how to do those things better and this is why people turn into perfectionists they try to be ideal and perfect but it's not real it's not it doesn't exist so just keep going and you'll see that eventually you'll get better okay you'll get better for sure the next point is learn more about pronunciation Okay, it's very important to be able to pronounce every single sound correctly, to understand what it means, to understand how to open your mouth, how to breathe correctly and stuff like that. So learn more about pronunciation. I also have a video where I was talking that I went to uh, pronunciation classes level one a while ago and that really helped me a lot. And recently I took pronunciation classes level two, where I've learned how to pronounce and how to speak better in English, how to use a strong form of speech, how to use a weak form of speech, how to correctly say different kinds of sounds, different kinds of words, and how to integrate them in sentences. And that was actually so, so good and so useful. So if you can take some kind of pronunciation courses, believe me, that's going to be a great investment in yourself. Kind of about our single vowels, our double vowels, our triple vowels, our consonant sounds. So you're very familiar with all of that. So now we're going to do is we're going to kind of take that. Breathing is also very important, okay? So make sure you breathe in properly and breathe out properly, okay? It's very important because if you do breathe in properly, you will be able to have a proper flow of communication, of words, and that's going to make your life so much easier. I didn't know that breathing can be so important, but if you want to improve your breathing and breathe in for longer and hold it for longer, then you can do some yoga or you can do some swimming and it's going to help you to um, breathe in better and to inhale better and and keep the air inside a bit longer and exhale properly. And this is how you will be able to say more words. This is how you will not have to interrupt yourself to breathe in quickly and then breathe out quickly, okay? So learn to breathe in and out. Also phonetic spelling. I know that not many people do pay attention to the phonetic spelling and you probably know that the phonetic spelling is the second column in our vocabulary, yes? So in the vocabulary we have the word in English, something that is not clear and then the translation and that thing in the middle that's not clear is the phonetic spelling it's how you pronounce a word properly so make sure you understand every single sound and what it means okay because this is what brings the biggest struggle to people that do not understand what the phonetic spelling is pay a lot of attention to that and learn it and also tongue twisters it's something pretty cool and you can start by saying some tongue twisters very slowly and then going faster and faster and faster and faster okay and this is how you will improve slowly but you will improve because this is how you learn to pronounce words correctly to pronounce them very clearly and this is how you will understand yourself how to properly breathe in breathe out and you'll pay a lot of attention to those words and to that pronunciation. So try to do some tongue twisters time to time. This is going to help you a lot. And the last thing, but not the least, is exercising. Before you have to have a speech, before you have to present something, make sure you do exercise, okay? Like, I mean, not workout, not going to the gym. Going to the gym is important, but I mean, exercising with your face muscles, okay? With your lips, with your tongue, with your cheeks, with, um, I don't know about the chin, but yeah. Like, I, I mean, do some exercises and look online for some exercises because they are going to help you to relax your muscles, to focus, to speak better, to be clearer and stuff like that. So make sure you look for some exercising. It sounds strange, but believe me, once you try it, it's going to work out. It's going to be very, very cool. And I'm doing exercising myself before videos, before filming videos, especially if I find it very difficult to speak that day. And it really helps me a lot. You know, it kind of sets the tone of the video and it's going to help you, I'm sure.
Cool guys, I'm sure that there are more ways to learn English and if you know more, please leave them in the comments. It would be very interesting to read more about them. And you know, it's not only about learning English, it's about learning other languages as well. So just use these tips and tricks if you're learning, I don't know, French, Spanish, Italian, because they will help you a lot as well. Also, thanks a lot for watching this video. Thanks a lot for sending me your lovely messages on my Instagram. Make sure you give this video a like, you do subscribe to my channel and also check my Patreon account where I do create a community of like-minded people and you can join that community to meet new people, to spend your time in a very constructive way, to ask your questions and to get some guidance and some help into moving forward. Thanks again guys and I will see you in the next one.